Hello, this is Mr. Lundgren, Principal of Belfar Midland High School, welcoming you to the 2022-2023 school year. In this video, we're going to discuss our new bell schedule and also uh, give you other pertinent information to make 2022-2023 the best school year yet. This year, Belfar Midland High School is moving to an eight-period block schedule. The reason we're moving this to this schedule is to help our students. This gives our students greater flexibility and more options in selecting courses. It will continue to offer students fewer classes each school day to focus on their studies. For example, students will take three or at a maximum four classes per day instead of the usual six. We will incorporate an embedded academic support for all students during each class period. For our high school students, our athletes will miss less time with athletics being seventh and eighth period. Because it's offered seventh and eighth period, athletes then can take extra additional classes. Also, this will give us the opportunity to offer credit recovery during the school day. So those students that need to make up a course, instead of having to stay after school or potentially being transferred to Somerset, they will be given the opportunity to make up credits during the day. For our middle school students who are in our ELD program, AVID, ASB, yearbook, you will be able to participate in additional electives such as world language. You could take Spanish or French during your middle school years. And quite possibly the most important factor in this schedule change is that our class sizes will be smaller, which helps provide a better in learning environment for all of our students. Students will be required to still take six classes in the grades seven through 11 and five classes as 12th graders. Students will have an option of extending their day and adding classes to their schedule to be both college and career ready upon graduation. Students will now be able to complete A through G college requirements. They'll be able to complete a career technical education or CTE pathway enroll in our visual arts or performing arts or any other elective that they would like and also be able to participate and enroll in our world languages middle school students who only take six periods they will be starting their day at 8 30 a.m and attending periods one through six on tuesday through friday students will be dismissed at 158 and on Monday, they will be dismissed at 2.21 p.m. Middle school students that opt to take the extra elective, their school day will remain the same. It'll be 8.30 to 3.36. Hello, my name is Dr. Bob Akamini Tarani, and I am one of the new assistant principals here at Belfar Middle and High School. Today, I will discuss the new Bell schedule for the 2022-2023 school year. As you may know, we are moving towards an eight period block schedule for multiple different reasons, including the fact that we will be able to have smaller class period length. We will also have a separate middle and high school lunch time. We will continue to have the embedded academic support at the end of every period, and we can also have smaller class sizes. Essentially for the bell schedule, there are two main pieces of information you need to know. One part, is for you to determine whether or not you are on a Monday or a Tuesday through Friday schedule. We at Belfar High School call this a shortened day or a regular day. The second piece of information you need to know, which I will discuss in a moment, is whether or not you are on a gold day or a maroon day. So let's go ahead and dive right into this, shall we? So if you are on a shortened day, again, which is a Monday, your classes in the morning may begin at 10 a.m. if you have a first or second period class. If you are on a Tuesday through Friday um, day and you have a first or a second period class, your day will begin at 8.30. If you have a seventh or eighth period, it does not matter if it's a Monday or a Tuesday through Friday schedule, your class will end at 3.36 like normal. Now, remember that not all students may have all eight periods. Many students at Belfort Middle and High School will have fewer classes than the eight periods, and that's okay. 
So again, knowing whether or not you are on a shortened day, a Monday day type of schedule, or if you are on a regular day, which is a Tuesday through Friday schedule, is just one piece of the puzzle. The other piece of the puzzle is to know whether or not you are on a maroon day or a gold day. Maroon days are those that have your odd periods, one, three, five, and seven. If you are on a gold day, these are days that are your even periods, two, four, six, and eight. Let's use this calendar as an example. Let's suppose that I am looking at Monday, August 15th. Notice that Monday, August 15th is a maroon day. Since it is a Monday, I know that classes generally begin at 10 a.m. And it will be for your odd period classes only. So a student that has first period will begin their class on Monday, August 15th for first period at 10 a.m. Let's take another example, shall we? Let's look at Tuesday, August 16th. Again, Tuesday, August 16th is a gold day. Since we are on a regular day schedule from Tuesday through Friday, that means that your first or second period class will begin at 8.30. This is a gold day for August 16th, which means that on that Tuesday, you will have your periods 2, 4, 6, and 8. Again, right now, that might seem very confusing. However, please know that there is a form online that actually has all the calendars and bell schedule all on one single document. You can find this document at the bellflowerhigh.org website. This document will enable you to determine whether or not you are on a Monday schedule or a Tuesday through Friday regular day schedule. And it will also let you know whether or not it is a maroon odd period day or your gold even period day. Hello, my name is Miss Brittany Gasper and I am one of the assistant principals at Bellflower Middle High School. I am going to talk to you about entrance and exit procedures for this school year. This school year, we will be utilizing a digital student ID platform called Minga. Minga is an application that can be downloaded on your cell phones. Students that have an earlier dismissal due to not having a full eight periods will be required to show their digital ID at the gate in order to leave. Student IDs are specific to each individual student with corresponding stickers that show which periods are home. Student IDs are live with a running clock. Students that do not have cell phones will have a printed ID. Students that do not have their ID on them will have to wait at the end of the line for a staff member to look them up in order to leave school for the day. Hey Bucks, welcome to the 2022-2023 school year. We're super excited to welcome you to the new school year. And with the new school year, we have new counselor assignments that I'd like to share with you all right now. Uh, at the high school level, we are changing our high school counselor assignments uh, so that the counselor follows their student uh, group or their class for the entire four years while they're here at Bellflower High School, similar to what we do at the middle school. So without further ado, uh, Mrs. Lauren Conte will be the seventh grade counselor who will follow that class from seventh to eighth grade. Miss Vanessa Lopez will be the eighth grade counselor. She was the counselor of those students last year. At the high school level, the ninth grade counselor uh, or the counselor for the class of 2026 is Mrs. Dana Kidd, and she will follow them all the way through their senior year. Mrs. Michelle Paredes is the 10th grade counselor, and she will follow the class of 2025 as she has uh, the last year, and she will continue to follow them until their senior year and until they graduate. And then we have Mrs. Anna Fujimoto, who will be the 11th grade counselor, and uh, she will follow uh, those students into their senior year. And this year's senior counselor for the class of 2023, we have Mrs. Carla Tripp also known as Miss Carla Calderon. Uh, she did get married this summer, so make sure that you congratulate her uh, to Mr. Tripp. Uh, and then we have two uh, SEL counselors that started with us this past year, uh, towards the end of the, the year, this past uh, school year. And so they're gonna continue with us this year. We have Mr. Giovanni Flores, who is the high school SEL counselor, and Mr. Pedro Rubio, who is our middle school SEL counselor. 
I want you all to know, Bucks, that last year was a difficult year for everyone uh, academically and adjusting back into school and all of the, you know, all of the demands that school brings. Uh, but we're looking forward and we're hopeful that this next school year is going to be even better. And a uh, part of that is making sure that you reach out when you need assistance. Uh, that's part of the reason why we're shifting to this uh, new counselor uh, assignment process um, so that you can reach out to your counselor and so that you can develop a relationship with your counselor for the time that you're here at Bellflower High School. So please feel free to uh, make sure that you engage with your counselor, you get to know your counselor, you reach out, and you really take advantage of all of the resources that the curriculum and guidance offers. Uh, I know that you're all itching for schedules and you want to know when you're going to see your schedule. You will be able to see them soon. We are in the process. The counselors have been really hard at work. Uh, manually adjusting schedules and fixing them to make sure that uh, we have them as best as, as possible. Uh, so you will be getting access to those and I will communicate when you have access to that uh, via email, via phone call. So make sure that you're listening to the phone calls that come to, to the house and that you're checking your email so that you know when to check Aries Parent Portal for your schedule because you will want to know your first period class. Um, this year you will be picking up your your or you will be receiving your schedules during your first period so you'll want to know uh your first period class in advance by checking uh, aries parent portal all right and then with that i just want to remind everyone that data confirmation is super important it's important for us to have the most up-to-date information on aries parent portal that being parent contact numbers, emergency contact numbers, emails, your address, because when we communicate, we want to make sure that we have the most accurate information. And if we don't have the correct phone number or the correct email, parents, families, and so on, do not get the communication that, uh, that we send out as a school. So please make sure that you take care of data confirmation. We are doing a great job this year of completing data confirmation. So just log on, it's super quick. You just have to verify all of your information and take care of that. If you don't have a parent portal account, there are directions on the website on how to create an account. Thank you, Bucks, and we look forward to seeing you. Now I'm going to talk to you about student and family expectations. Attendance is the key to success. Be aware of the calendar and be on time. Come to school prepared for the appropriate classes. Parents and guardians, please make sure your students are coming to school every day and leaving at their correct times. Students, please come to school with an open mind and a positive attitude. And remember, we are all demonstrating pride. Positivity, respect, integrity, dedication, and excellence. If you have any questions, please ask your counselor, teacher, or administrator. We are all here to help you be successful. There will be more information on school policies coming to you through email and posted on our website soon. Thank you, and we look forward to a great 2022-2023 school year.